All right, what's up, guys? I'm Jesse. I'm Chad. And we are two thirds of JCB Sports. This is our first ever video, and we're going to be talking about some baseball. We're going to be talking about the home run derby, the all star game, get into some trade rumors. We're going to give you our midseason awards like MVP, Cy Young, Rookie of the Year, Manager of the Year. And that's, that's about it, right? Mm -hmm. All right, you want to start off with the uh, home run derby? Well, I think we got a nice lineup for the home run derby this year. Well, although nobody really stands a chance against Stanton and Judge, it's still going to be fun to watch. We are obviously, Gary Sanchez is going to go down to Stanton. I think it might be a tight battle between Moustakis and Sano, the tightest one that there is. But I have Moustakis taking it. Judge over Justin Bowler all the time. Aaron Judge is just a beast. Cody Bellinger versus Charlie Blackman might also be close, but I think Cody Bellinger is going to take this one out. But then we have Stan versus Moustakis, yet another landslide for Stanton. Judge for Bellinger, which might be a little closer, but Judge is taking it home. And then I actually have Judge over Stanton in an absolute slugfest. Yeah, I think I think the finals have to be Stanton and Judge unless something foreseen happens. Um, but yeah, it's, I, I'm taking Stanton to win back to back just because Stanton's my dude. Um, yeah, what about the All Star game? Let's let's get into that. Uh, the final vote for the All Star game is going on, and that's fan voted. So for the NL, I'm gonna say that Chris Bryant's gonna win it only because it's fan voted. He shouldn't win it. I think it should be Justin Turner. He happens to be leading the MLB in batting average, but not an all-star. But that's what happens when fans vote. The AL, uh, I think Mike Moustakas should take it because, for one, he's in the home run derby with 25 home runs. And uh, there's a story, uh, Didi Gregorius, who is in the fan vote, is down at a New York City train station swiping his card, giving people free train rides in order to try to get more votes for the fan vote, so I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, that might help him win. Uh, Ruby's a nice guy. Yeah. Uh, did you hear who's commentating the play-by-play? -play? Joe Buck. It's terrible. Joe Buck will be the All-Star Game play-by-play -play commentary. Uh, I hate that because I hope he gets laryngitis. I hate his voice. I hated listening to him for seven games during the World Series, and I, I just hate it. Uh, on a real note, All-Star Game, we're picking the, in, the AL to win because we're obvious Indians fans. He's got the Indians jersey. I got Lindor's jersey on from last All-Star Game. I'm going to have to pick up another one this year because they look so much better in Miami colors. Um, let's move over to some trade talks. We got Josh Donaldson possibly on the move along with Marcus Stroman and... Uh, Jose Bautista, the Blue Jays seem to be huge sellers. Like, they're getting rid of everybody. Uh, Stroman, he's a stud. He is 8-5 and five with a 342 ERA on the year. He doesn't strike out too many guys, about 6Ks per 9. I think he could pull in some nice young prospects. But Donaldson and Bautista are really showing their age. Donaldson was banged up, only playing 42 games, only batting 238. Bautista's 36, so he's up there. So be on the watch for the Blue Jays to be moving some players. Uh, Donaldson could possibly be headed to St. Louis, I heard this morning. Also in trade talks, I have uh, Mr. Andrew McCutcheon. He's been hot the past month. Pirates could use a lot of other assets, lacking a third base, first base, shortstop catcher, and starting pitchers. Lots of teams could use that outfielder help with McCutcheon, such as the Phillies, Braves, and Tigers. And I really expect a good move here. Yeah, the uh, the Cubs are interested in Verlander and Avila, and I think it would be a good move for them to pick one, pick up Verlander to solidify that that starting rotation. Maybe Avila because they just got rid of Miguel Montero, Miguel Montero, because he was talking trash about their starting pitchers. You can't really have that on the team, so they could possibly pick up one or both of them. Uh, maybe even like you said, McCutcheon. Maybe swap them out for Verlander with some with a little bit, because McCutcheon's been hot and they need a starting pitcher, so you might as well make a move there. Um, talk about the Cubs, they've been real mediocre this year at best, I think they're 500 right now. Uh, three and a half games behind the Brewers. Brewers, the Brewers that's crazy. Um, the Indians, our Indians, we need a starting pitcher. We really need a starting pitcher to solidify the back end of that rotation. It's been real rough. Salazar should be coming back. That's nice. Hopefully, you know, he's the Salazar of last year. 
not this year. Um, we need run support. You don't know which offense is going to show up for us. We should be scoring a lot. We score 4.8 runs a game, which is just barely above average. We should be scoring six, seven runs a night. Some nights we're getting blanked. We just got blanked by the Padres, lost 6-2 to the Padres. In danger of getting swept today, which is not nice. So we definitely need some run support and a starting pitcher. Because the Indians are not, the Indians lineup is not an average lineup. We shouldn't have average numbers. Yeah, we, we should got, be blowing teams out of the water. Yeah, we got some nice hitters in there. Lindor is having a rough year, but J Ram man, he is hot. Edwin, he's starting to pick it back up. We should be scoring. Bradley's been a hitting machine lately. We should be scoring like six a game. Um, we can move on to our AL Rookie of the Year, our AL awards. We'll do Rookie of the Year first. Who do you have for Rookie of the Year? Because I'm sure it's got to be a surprise, right? Yeah, Aaron Judge. The man's frame is just amazing. 6'7", 282. That's you like don't beat that. Miles Garrett. Yeah, that, like, that's... Swinging a baseball bat. Yeah. He's got absolute freakish power. Dope. He, he's been batting 331, 29 home runs, 65 RBIs, 74 runs, and to add 59 walks, teams just don't want to have him swinging the bat up there. He's leading the... The AL in home runs, RBIs, runs, walks, on base percentage, slugging, total bases, anything you name it, this guy's leading, and he's a rookie. It's it's crazy. So obviously he is my rookie of the year pick because I just don't think anybody else will touch him. Uh, we can go on to AL MVP. I'll start off AL MVP. We just talked about him. I gotta go Aaron Judge right now. It's a no-brainer. Nobody else is hotter than this man on the planet. He's like we just said, he's been 331 for a rookie to go along with 29 bombs, leading in RBIs. He He's just an all-around stud, and not to mention the defensive plays he can make in the outfield with that big frame. And Yeah, yeah, he's great. So your MVP, Definitely Aaron, Aaron Judge. Judge. All right. Again. So we'll move on to Cy Young in the AL. Uh, let's hope we got something different this time. Cy Young in the AL, who do you got? I have Chris Sale. With a 261 ERA, even though this seems a little high, it's still leading the AL. 11 and 3, doesn't lose many games. 120.2 innings pitch, 166 strikeouts. That's 12.9 strikeouts a game. Strikeouts per nine innings. I mean, it. He's been on fire. He leads in so many stats. It's just he's untouchable. Yeah, I'm, I'm going Chris Sale too. He's the man. Like you said, 11 and 3, leading in the ERA, leading in Ks. The guys untouchable at times uh he's got 0.89 whip with uh that's walks and hitters per inning he doesn't give up many base runners and it's hard to get on with him so he's my Cy Young pick at the moment uh we'll move on to manager of the year it looks like our list for the AL is the same yeah. our list for the NL is gonna be different so yeah, yeah. my AL and I'm sure it's your AL no-brainer manager of the year AJ Hinch, if you don't know who that is, that is the Astros manager. They are 58 and 27. That is 31 games over 500, the best in the majors. Not to mention, all of their starting pitchers have been hurt at least once this year and missed time. And, and he's still making it happen. And he still got three all star starters with Correa, Altuve, arguably the best second baseman in the MLB, and George Springer, who's been yeah. on fire with those home runs. Yeah, he, they, they got a nice team, but they really put it together this year, so watch out for them in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. So now we can move over to the NL. Let's hope we got some mismatches. Uh, we're going Rookie of the Year, NL. Who do you got? Cody Bellinger. It's a no-brainer. I mean, he's got 24 home runs, 56 RBIs. He does only have 258 batting average, but who else is notable as a rookie in the NL? Yeah, there's no real notable rookies out there besides him. Since he came onto the scene late April, he has 24 home runs. And a 258 average isn't the best, but he is a rookie and only 21 years old. I'd take that in a heartbeat. The only thing about him, he does strike out a lot 83 times this year, and 33% of his at-bats, he strikes out. Um, we'll move on to MVP. My MVP for the NL is Paul Goldschmidt. He is batting a 315 with 19 home runs. He's got 72 runs. 66 RBIs, which is leading the MLB, to go along with 13 stolen bases for a first baseman and 11 intentional walks to lead the league, meaning 
they don't even want to pitch to this guy. They're just putting them on. Like they, they don't want them in tough situations. So that's my MVP pick. Your MVP pick? My MVP also a first baseman in his later years, Joey Votto, who's batting 316, 24 home runs, which is almost his career high in a season ever already. It's only the All-Star break. 61 RBIs, 19 doubles, 95 hits. He's unstoppable. He leads the NL in slugging and OPS. You just can't pitch to him, and he's gonna, if you pitch to him, it's a hit almost every time. Yeah, that that's that's big. So good first basemen's happening in the NL. Uh, we're gonna move on to NL Cy Young. Who's your NL Cy Young? I have Max Scherzer, who is 10 and five, leading MLB in ERA with 194. He also leads NL in two with two complete games, 163 strikeouts, .77 walks and hitters in any per innings pitch. He has 12 strikeouts per nine leading NL, and he also has five hits per nine leading the NL. My Cy Young for the NL is again Clayton Kershaw. He's the best pitcher of our generation. There's no one better than since probably since I've been alive, 17 years, going on 18 years. Nobody's better than this guy. He is 13 and 2 with a 2.19 ERA, 146 Ks, a .89 WHIP, and 10 Ks per nine. This guy just shuts people down. He's got nasty stuff. It's he makes hitters look silly. He doesn't give up many many base runners ever. He doesn't give up many runs. And to go along with a nice Dodger team, they make him really stand up to get those wins. Uh, we'll move on to Manager of the Year. My NL manager of the year is Craig Council from the Brewers. Last year, they were 73 and 89, 16 games under 500. This year, they are 47 and 40, 7 games over 500 currently. Last year, they were 30 and a half games back to end the year. They're currently 3 and a half games up on the Chicago Cubs, the defending champions. If they can keep this up, they got themselves a spot in the playoffs. The only thing is, they do only have one All Star. Their closer, uh, he, he's he been tearing it up as of late. The rest of the team, you know, they got some sluggers, some hitters. They they can score a lot of runs, but the rest of their bullpen is just just garbage, to say the least. Without him, uh, I don't. I think they'd fall apart, honestly. Your manager of the year? I have Dave Roberts from the Dodgers because, as always, they're at the top of the NL. They have a great lineup, not always playing like it, but when they're when they're hot, they're unstoppable. They're shutting teams out. Their pitchers have been lights out. Alex Wood ten and zero. They have, I mean, when their defense and pitching is perfect, he's getting the most out of the team, and he really deserves the award. Yeah, I think they're only a game and a half back of the Astros as the best team in the league. So I mean, definitely, it's a solid pick there. And uh, yeah, that's all we got for now. Um, if you liked it, like the uh, video, please subscribe if you want to see more of this. Uh, comment down below what you think we could fix or change. This is our first video. Um, tomorrow, we are hoping to have a early NFL season forecast to see, you know, divisions, who's, uh, records, MVPs, things like that. Look forward to that. How many Browns quarterbacks are going to get injured? Yeah, we'll have, our Browns will have a couple quarterbacks, I'm sure, start this year. But it's all right. I like number one picks. Don't you like number mm -hmm. one picks? I like the playoffs more than that. But... That's been all. Thanks, guys. See ya.